Okay, great. Thanks. About half hour. Okay. We can nibble all night long. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Who is that? Is that your buddy? Go find a ball. Go get a ball. I'm not going to get it for you. Here. Wash that for us. Go find a ball. Go near it. It's sweet, so it's right now. Your petter should love you forever. Yeah. Classwork, mm -hmm. so I just have to dig some discipline out and kind of figure that it's an ends to a mean, means to an end. Yeah, yeah. So, like I bought the I have an ethics class, and that's the one I help teach a component of every semester. Mm -hmm. So I went and I bought the books because I had time the end of last week and this week to read, and they're pretty interesting, but it's not rocket science. Yeah, and and it's really just theory applied to what common what's common sense. Plus, you know, I've been a manager for so long, a lot of it is everything you do as a manager. I mean, yeah. like one, one case scenario, it's because the guy who wrote the books of journalist, he, when he was a features editor, somebody plagiarized on his staff, and, you know, the, the question is, what do I do? And it's, they call it right versus right. When you have two alternatives and they're both right, but you don't know which way you should go. Okay. In one case, he should dismiss her because, you know, you can't, that's justice, and yeah. you can't tolerate that kind of behavior, and your credibility goes down the tubes. But on the other hand, she's a human being, she's young, she may be having problems, you really don't know what motivated her to do that, and you really don't fire her. And both are really the right answer, they can be the right answer, there's no wrong decision making involved, and it's just situational. But So it's kind of interesting to hear it put into a framework. Um, but you know, right versus right versus versus right versus wrong. Right, right, yeah. Where it's a moral decision, not. So that's kind of interesting. Um. <laughs> you got a new friend. I'll get the camera far enough away to get it <laughs> strapped to my neck. Oh, maybe I don't think I'm here to do with you guys here. Let me see. Come here. Come. Lay down. You, you gotta, if I can get her to do it, you gotta. It's probably most funny to hear me growl at her. It's common. What? No, he went to go get Aaron. We had to switch gears because. We had to switch gears because Connell Cuisine was closing early. Teeth. <laughs> She's like a cat. I mean, you usually get your She's cat really to agile. Cat. <laughs> Come over on this side. More fun. Left, down. 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 Tell you what we've got and tell me if you can do it. 